Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to talk about Azure Event Grid. So basically in this video, I'm only going to cover what exactly Azure Event Grid is, what are the basic concepts related to Azure Event Grid and then in the upcoming video, I'll give a hands-on session on Azure Event Grid. We'll actually use it in the portal and I'll actually show you in my upcoming videos. But for this video, I'll only restrict to, uh, you know, giving an overview of what Azure Event Grid is, why we should use it and what are the different features of it and what are the different key concepts related to Azure Event Grid. So basically, it is a centralized service in Azure, which is used to route events. So when I say that it is a centralized service, it is used to route events, we are going to see in detail what it exactly means. It is actually based on a publish and subscribe model. So when I say it is routing events, so while routing events, the first thing is what we do is called we publish the events. Once we publish it, we route those events, we subscribe to those events. That is why it is also called as, you know, your publish subscribe model. So this Azure Event Grid is actually a publish and subscribe uh, model that is being used over here. It is a pretty simple service. So when I say publishers, so publisher is something what you call uh, what you can call as some some resources or within Azure, which actually uh, which actually are the source of event, right? That are called publishers. So that is the starting point when you talk about Azure Event Grid. So those are the uh, key factors or the key resources in Azure, which actually gives you an event. So let's say Azure Blob Storage. So whenever you write a file into Azure Blob Storage, that actually is an event, right? So that is exactly your starting point and that is called as event publishers. So when you talk about Azure Event Grid, what you exactly do is you publish that event. You say to Event Grid that yes, I have this file coming into my Azure Blob Storage and that take this as an event. So when you say that you are actually publishing uh, you are actually publishing to event grid. So that is what is called as publish. And when you say subscribe, so now on the right hand side, you have multiple subscriptions. So when I say subscription, uh, these are basically actions, right? So whenever a file is coming in the blob storage, this is my, uh, this is my publish event. And based on this event, I want to trigger something. I might want to trigger a logic app workflow. I might want to trigger a code written in Azure function. I might want to trigger event hub. I want, I might want to trigger any X, Y, Z thing, maybe your web hook, right? So these are called your handlers. These are called your event handlers because these will handle the way your event uh, will respond. So your event is when your file comes into blob storage and event handlers will handle the output that will be generated as the outcome of the event, right? And these event handlers will subscribe to the event that you have published. Now, what you have published, you have published that, yes, whenever a file enters into my blob storage, just uh, that become, uh, that is your event that you have published. Now, any of these event handlers, which will actually subscribe to that particular event, which you have created. So only the uh, handlers which have subscribed to the event only those handlers will execute in future whenever an event occurs. So let's say that your file enters into the blob. You have uh, created an event out of it. You have published that event. Now, once you have published that event, let's say the logic app has subscribed to it. Now, once logic app, app has subscribed to it, now in future, whenever there will be a file inside your blob storage, automatically, whatever workflow you have designed in the logic app, that will only execute because logic app has already subscribed to your event grid. So this is the whole workflow of event grid. And this event grid is maximum, uh, like it has lots of usage, not just what I'm going to tell you. It has like n number of usage. But most of the time it is used to send emails in um, in uh, conjunction to any event, right? So event publishers, event handlers and event grid in between. And when you talk about event publishers, these are the sources which generate the event. And once you generate an event, you actually uh, publish it to the event grid. Uh, what you publish now? 
uh, when I'm saying that a file lands into blog storage, you publish that to the event integrate. Now what you are publishing is called a topic. It is as simple as that. It, these are just the keywords. Otherwise, it is a very simple workflow. These are called topics. Now saying to the event grid that my file has arrived in the blog. So please, uh, you know, uh, th that published thing is actually a topic. I will actually show you in the portal how to create a topic, how to subscribe in the hands on session. I don't want to cover everything in the word video. So I'll keep this video pretty short and the other one as, as well uh, pretty short. Otherwise, the whole video will become very long, right? And similarly, uh, when I'm talking about subscription, once you have created a topic inside event grid, you actually go in the portal, you actually click on, you know, subscribe to that particular event. So this is how your whole Azure event grid workflow is. And the main thing to remember here is that to a one particular event, right? So when I say one particular event or one particular topic, which is, let's say for in our example, a file coming in the blog storage, there can be multiple subscriptions, right? So for the same event, you can subscribe event hubs, you, you can subscribe logic app, you can subscribe Azure function. So it is a one to many relationship. You have to, you know, keep this picture in your mind uh, about Azure event grid, which I'm showing on the screen. And then you just make sure that you know that it is a one to many relationship. And the second most important thing about Azure event grid is that which probably you don't have in any other service is that you can, uh, you know, even connect to Azure subscription. When I say Azure subscription, you see on the left hand side at the top, you see Azure subscription, right? It can also act as an event in event grid. So let's say um, you, uh, there is a, somebody, somebody just created a virtual machine. Somebody created a storage account. Somebody deleted a virtual machine. Somebody deleted a storage account even that can act as an topic, even that can act as an event for Azure event grid. So let's say you have a team, you, you, you have a team and you want to get notified whenever somebody creates a resource group, whenever somebody creates a virtual machine, right? So in that case, you can have Azure subscription itself as a event publisher in case of Azure event grid. So let's move ahead. So most of the thing actually I've explained in pretty much in the first uh, uh, slide itself. So uh, to understand it in a better way. So let's say you have a music sharing application, right? With a web API that runs in Azure. Now, whenever user uploads a new song, you need to notify all the mobile application users that, you know, this song has been uploaded and whosoever is interested that person can you know directly go and use that song right now in this case uh, if you see who is the publisher you know so music uh, sharer is the publisher over here music sharing application music sharing application is the publisher over here and who are the subscribers subscribers are the people who are who will be actually notified right now the people who are notified they uh, they just subscribed to the notifications, right? Now, in this case, the publisher, the music sharing application does not need to bother about who has subscribed to it. It just need to publish the sound file to anybody, right? Whosoever has subscribed to it. So this is called a publisher subscriber model. And this is the same model that is used in event grid. You have a set of publishers, you have a set of subscribers, publishers just publish it. And the subscriber, whosoever is interested in that, they'll just simply subscribe to the events and then automatically the flow will execute. And that is why it is also called as one to many relationship, right? So this kind of architecture, wherever you have, you will definitely need to use Azure Event Grid. Now, again, the same question, what is an Azure Event Grid, right? It is a fully managed event routing service on the top of your Azure service, right? So in case you are trying to build any event based application or a serverless application on Azure, the solution is your Azure event grid. You can list n number of events. It has connected to almost every uh, resource in your Azure blob storage, your Azure subscription resource group, your IoT. It can link to everything, almost everything, almost every event, and then you can perform actions based on your events. 
Now the basic concepts in Azure event grid events. What is an event? Event is something like what happened, right? A file came into the blob storage. That is an event. What is an event source? Event sources are also called as publishers. So do not confuse with these names. Event source, whenever I say event, event is what happened. A, a file came into the blob storage. That is an event. What is an event source? Event source is also called as publisher. Event source is where it happened, right? It happened in the blob storage. So that is your event source topic. What are topics now? An HTTP endpoint where you can send your events. That is called a topic. It will be more clear when you will actually see it in the next video. So topics are basically two types, system topics and custom topics. System topics are usually in built topics. So, um, uh, I'll talk about this in the next video. I think that will be better. You know, if I talk about it right now, it might be confusing. So the demo that we will do, we will do both based on system topics as well as on custom topics. So custom topics is something that you create. System topics are something that uh, are already inbuilt, right? So uh, let's say your Azure Data Factory. So if you talk about Azure Data Factory, I think you all know that you have uh, you know, your event-based triggers, right? So what are these event-based triggers? What happens underneath? So it is your Azure event grid that plays the role. So that are called system topics because they are already built in. You just, uh, you know, create a event trigger and uh, underneath uh, your Azure event grid starts its functionality. Similarly, here comes your Azure subscriptions. So Azure subscriptions are basically a linkage between your event handlers and event grid. So when I say that whenever then uh, whenever somebody wants to subscribe to an event or whenever somebody wants to subscribe to a topic in that case, uh, you know, they create a subscription. So this subscription will actually help them notify that yes, a file has landed into blob storage. Now, you know, proceed with the logic apps or proceed with the, this functionality. So that are called event subscription. So similarly, event handlers are also called as subscribers. Right. So uh, think about that music application example that I've already given. So just like the subscribers here, you have event handlers. So these are synonyms. So don't uh, confuse with the name again. So whatever uh, is the reaction that rea reaction to a particular event will be done by some subscriber. Right. So that subscriber is also called as event handler. So that might be your logic app, your Azure functions, which will actually do something based on an event. So those are called your Azure uh, subscribers. So why you should use event grid, right? The very first thing is simplicity. This is quite a simple thing. And you know, once you have that picture in your mind, you know that it is just the publisher and the subscriber model. You just have to publish to an event, uh, publish an event and then just subscribe to it to make anything going. So it is that pretty simple and straightforward. Even when you will do it in the portal, you will actually see how simple, simple it is. When you talk about advanced filtering, it essentially means that let's say you have one subscriber. Now that one subscriber only wants to subscribe to few topics, not all the topics. So they have that kind of flexibility to uh, do that kind of filtering. I will show you in that demo, it will be much more visible. But yeah, this basic understanding is required before moving on to the demo. Fan out basically means like from just one particular event, you have multiple subscribers. So that is called a fan out, right? So this functionality, anyway, you have with a single event, you can, uh, you know, execute your multiple workflows by subscribing multiple uh, workflows to the same event. So next is your reliability. So let's say event grid fails for the first second, it will again retry, retry up to 24 hours. So that is why it is called quite reliable and then you pay per event. So when I say you pay per event, you need to understand uh, this thing that it is pretty cheap anyway, but you pay for each message that you transfer. So let's say a blob and uh, uh, a file gets created in the blob and you send a topic. So this topic is a one message and then from topic you create uh, you subscribe to three workflows. Now um, you have three workflows over there. So you are sending it three more times, right? So then total four times. So that is how you pay for per events so for each message you will actually pay. Although it, 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 it is not that expensive and you need to remember that this event grid has a very high throughput. It can process your millions of events per second, which is not very common in other Azure services. 
So especially in this case, your IoT applications works best with event grid because you know in your IoT applications, you have to process a lot of events at the same time and event grid, grid serves the purpose very nicely. So guys, this was pretty much that I wanted to cover in this video. I hope you got what I was trying to explain and do let me know in the comment section whether you understood it or not because the next video will be based on this only. This is the core concept and based on this concept, we'll be doing the hands-on session in the Azure portal. So thank you so much for being till here and do remember to like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.